Well, I mean, that's one of the striking things about his uh, uh, appointments, the fact that there's so many people from Goldman Sachs, when he spent so much of his time campaigning, criticizing Clinton for her ties to Goldman Sachs. Yeah, no, and, and I think that's an, an important to realize. You know, um, if you look at this cabinet, it's filled with uh, CEOs and, and other elites. Um, and I think in the, the next 100 days, we will actually see a kind of a class war. Um, <laughs> Trump promised to, to take on these globalists, these, yeah. you know, economic elites. But we will see the next 100 days um, a, a ruthless agenda on behalf of these same elites um, against worker protections, uh, climate regulations. Uh, it's very likely that some of the very first uh, executive orders that come out of the Trump administration are attempts to repeal uh, much of the Obama legacy. You know, Obama only had um, control or a friendly Congress for two years of his administration. Most of his uh, legacy uh, were administrative rules, uh, agency action, and those uh, reforms are very fragile. It's very easy to repeal uh, those type of uh, rulemakings. So we'll see um, an attempt to chip away at everything from the Clean Power Plan to protections for uh, retirement security, uh, protections for uh, workers trying to organize at fast food restaurants. It's a, there's a recent mm -hmm. joint employer rule from the Labor mm -hmm. Department. Everything from uh, those rules to more obscure rules uh, uh, that govern food safety.